Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is a video editorial for this problem, lonely integer. So the problem is, as you can see, taken from HackerRank, and is based on bit manipulation. So this is the problem statement. Uh, the problem seems very easy, but can be made harder. Uh, the constraint in this example problem uh, aren't that hard. Uh, you can actually solve this problem very easily because the, there are only hundred uh, integers but for the same problem just think how you would solve when there are uh, 10 power 7 uh, numbers in the input and each can be as large as 64 bit integer that is up to 10 power 18 so the problem is this is an easier version of that uh, you are given an array of integer in which each element except one occurs twice so you see one is occurring twice two is twice three is twice except four so in the array each element is occurring twice except a single integer and you have to find which element is occurring single uh, single time so how you can solve this problem you can create a frequency array and count which element uh, frequency of which element is uh, uh, one because uh, there is only a single element whose frequency is one and you can print that element but think how you do this if uh, numbers are as large as 10 power 18 then we can't use a frequency array then you can think okay i can i can use hash map in java or map in c plus that's that's uh yeah that is one of the solution but uh if there are 10 power 7 integers and uh, the problem with hash map or uh, map is that the insertion operation takes uh, log n time so if there are times for seven integers then the overall operation is going to be n log n and if there are times for seven uh, integer then in one second uh, you are not going to uh, get any c for that what we are going to do we are going to use a uh, xor operation to solve this problem so uh, what we are going to do we are going to take a uh, if you simply just uh, take a look at this array since you know that each element is occurring twice and you perform XOR operation on all of the elements, then the result is going to be that the that lonely integer itself reason when you perform XOR operation of all these element each element which is occurring twice would get cancelled or would result into zero because a XOR a is equals to zero and b or b is equals to zero that is uh, if there are multiple elements if an element is occurring twice or uh, occurring even number of times then that element gets removed so this is what would happen if you take uh, uh, xor of all the element then what would happen all the elements which were appearing twice would get uh, the resultant of those would be zero and the only element that would remain is four so how you'd solve this is is just a second simply you take a result array uh, result zero and for each element x in adjacent uh, sorry in vector a update result is equals to or you can simply yeah result is equals to result xor x sorry x and return result that's all let's test this code first now the uh, the best thing about this approach is that even if there are times for seven number of elements since we are performing only bitwise operation bitwise op operations are much faster than any other operations like addition or multiplication and uh, since we uh, the space complexity is only constant so even if there are times for seven number of elements all of which are uh, 64 bit integers uh, the result is still uh, you still you won't get any TLE so you can see how we used only XOR or bitwise XOR operation to find that lonely integer all we did we performed XOR operation on the whole array and since uh, uh, there were elements which were appearing twice or even if there are elements which are appearing even number of times the result of those would be zero and the only integer that would remain is the one which is appearing odd number of times so the result is going to be that number so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and yep
keep coding thank you